Happy Thursday, Boalia Desmond here. I'm a wife, a mom, and my goal is to help families create and increase financial wealth. If this is your first time joining me, thank you for tuning in. So today's message I titled Seven Habits of People Who Manage Their Money Well. So why are we talking about money? We're talking about money because this this is something that we all need to be aware about and how to um, manage it and how to increase our wealth. So today I'm just going to give you um, three of the habits out of the seven. If you want all seven, I'll be happy to share the um, the link of the article that I found this information with. So um, the first habit that people who manage their money well um, have is they know where their money is coming in. They know how much money is coming in. So do you do you earn just a paycheck or do you do you have money coming in from um, from real estate? Do you have money that comes in from investments? Do you have money that comes in from from interest that you earn? Always know um, where your money is coming from because this gives you an idea of really how much how much number one that you're worth and also how much you can and cannot afford, right? Always know, know what kind of money is coming in and how much is coming in. And then number two, know how much is going out. You know, when Tim and I were in um, financial, kind of when we were struggling financially, when we didn't ever track how much money was coming in versus how much money was going out, we just knew we always had more month at the end. We had more month than we had money always running out of money but we never thought to stop and track it right we just kept kind of saying you know what we're short this month we're a little bit short this month and so forth but never trying to figure out you know how much money is really coming in versus versus how much was going out we obviously were spending more money than we had coming in so you want to know you know do you, do you have a budget you know when you when you when you sit down and you pay your you know your mortgage and you pay the the main things maybe you have car payments and you pay all of that how much money do you have left over to spend on food how much money do you have left over you know in the in for part you know for parties if you have birthday parties that roll up when you when you have young children and they're growing up like this month for us we had a lot of graduation parties right and if you don't have a budget if you don't know that you you're supposed to have a budget you budget it out because we knew graduation was going to be this month right was going to be in, in may so we knew the parties were going to be in may and june gotta budget it out you have to know how much money is coming in and then how much money you have to spend okay so number one they know how much money is coming in number two they know how much money is going out and then number three they set realistic um budget goals right set yourself a realistic budget like a smart one not one that's going to make you fail so say for example if you you know you have a habit that you like to spend a lot of money on or maybe you like to buy expensive food maybe you like to to shop make sure that you have what you know dave ramsey calls a blow fund make sure that you put a lot of money set aside for that particular thing because say for example you like to buy expensive food you wouldn't give yourself a 50 dollars budget because that's not going to cut it right so if you write on paper yes i'm going to spend 50 dollars, but then your groceries con consistently cost you 85 to 100 well, you're setting yourself up to fail, right? You're never going to stay in the budget. So know how much money is coming in, know how much is coming out, and then know what you set a budget that includes all of those things so that you always know that you're on the positive. Can't spend more money than, than what you have if you know how much is coming in and if you know how much it costs your household every single month. So those are the three things. If you want the rest of the four, um, send me a message and I'll send you the whole article so you can read about it. But know and handle your finances before they handle you. You should always tell your money where it's going instead of allowing it to dictate to you what's going to happen every single month. So I thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.